Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's Garden. I don't have time to do a full production right now, so I'm going to do a quick production, a, a quick show here with my uh, mobile phone. So, uh, forgive the shakiness or lack of quality or intro music or whatever else, but I just want to show you some things that are going on in my garden. This little mound right here last year was where I had the beans. And you can see I have the, the trellis here. still has dried beans on it. But this year, in this trench here, I planted some peas. You can see some of them coming up there. Uh, some of them are being chewed off. See that little guy there? That was chewed off by, uh, I suspect it's roly-polies, because the roly-polies, or pill bugs, or sow bugs, or wood lice, or whatever you want to call them, are all over the place. Same thing here with my Brussels sprouts and beets. This one got completely eaten off. This one's doing okay. I don't know if you can tell on the base of this one. You see how that's been chewed off there? I suspect tomorrow that's going to be gone. They chew it off at the base, plant falls over, and they eat it. And then these are my beets. They've been mostly, mostly chewed off. You can see that one, that one's gone. The leaf was taken off this one. Same thing there. And that one has been almost chewed off. So I'm battling the pill bugs in this part of the garden, actually in a lot of the garden. So let me take you to See my greenhouse here. This is where I have parsley and cilantro, cilantro and uh, what is that? Uh, oregano. This is my daughter's garden bed. She's got a little flower here. It's not looking too good. And Swiss chard and a little bit of lettuce. And that right there is arugula from from last year. It fell outside the bed and seeded outside the bed, so we thought we'd let it grow up. Those flowers are amazing in salad. And this is my son's bed. Right now, the only thing growing in it is carrots, a couple of carrots, a tomato in the middle. He calls it his tomato tree or his fruit tree. And this is chives, and we got a couple of little flowers on our chives this year. The chives are like in this spot. This bed has nothing in it, and here is lettuce, a couple of carrots, and this is a the only one of my six cucumbers that that uh, survived. The seedlings all died. I think I overwatered them in the greenhouse, and this was yesterday was a tomato plant, but the pill bugs chewed it all up overnight. It's gone. And over here is my lemon tree. And this is Mama's one of Mama's uh, rose plants that I've been uh, nursing along all winter. And that's just uh, trees that I'm trying to start all in the buckets. This bed, uh, the mulch was lifted, uh, taken out, and I put the... Uh, the compost from the chicken run. You can check out my asparagus video and you can see how I did that. One tomato plant, testing just to see if the pill, pill bugs are going to take them out in this bed. I think they might, but uh, hopefully not. Some onions here on the end. Oh, and you know I've been holding off for uh, to show you guys the pepper plants. Yeah, they didn't make it. I, I haven't wanted to do the video because I kept hoping they would. But they're gone. They're completely gone. They're dry. I think we had too many freezes over the winter. And they just couldn't take it. So here we have more onions. A prepared bed, again, with the uh, chicken run mulch underneath. A couple of dead peppers and some onions there. My asparagus bed, I love watching those things grow up. 
and again another prepared bed and then a circle of peas I got a couple of them poking up there's one a few more over here my goal is that this this cage that I built last year for tomatoes will have peas all over it and then the last bed over here are strawberries and this is the first time that the strawberries actually look like they might do something so hopefully I'll get two or three strawberries this year out of this whole bed and then today this morning I planted a blackberry the blackberry plant that was in this container was destroyed by my goats this is the Osage blackberry but uh, I thought the blackberry that was here seemed to like this spot pretty well but the goats got in several times and ate it all up. So I know the garden is a little bit of a mess. Some things are in transition. Hopefully this year I'll get all the mulch in the walkways. And you'll see more of the Daddy Curbs garden coming up. Thanks for joining me.